Hey, Lil. Have you heard the news? What news? I'm getting married. What? Oh my god. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. How come you never told me you were seeing someone? Is he nice? You're going to have to tell me all about him. I can't have my little sis marrying someone who does not deserve her. Well, we were keeping it on the down low. We didn't want to jinx anything by revealing our relationship too early, you know? He's really sweet and makes sure that I'm happy and everything with him. I really couldn't have asked for a better fiancé, to be honest. He sounds great. Where did you two meet? It was a few months ago now. At that barbecue that you hosted? We'd met before that, but we really hit it off at that party. We ended up talking pretty much the whole evening. Hang on. But that barbecue was just family. How could you have met anyone there? Don't worry, he's not related to us if that's what you're fretting about. Well, that's good to hear, but that doesn't clear up how you could have met your fiancé at a family barbecue. What's his name? I don't think you really want to know, if I'm being honest. Faith, tell me who it is now. Because if you've been sneaking around with one of our cousin's husbands behind their back, then things aren't going to go well. I need to make sure that I can try and do as much damage control as possible before things get out of hand. Fine. If you want to know the name of the guy so badly, it's Damien. Damien? As in my Damien? My husband? Yeah. Faith. This better be some god-awful joke that you're trying to pull. But it's not funny, so you better stop it right now. It's not a joke. Damien and I are actually getting married. We've planned it all out and everything. It's happening in about six months so that we have plenty of time for you to sign the divorce papers and get everything through so it can be legal. You're acting as if I'm just going to go along with all of this. What you're saying is insane. You don't even like Damien. What? Yes, I do. I remember when I first introduced you to him and you said that he was stiff, boring, and completely not your type. In fact, your interest has only seemed to peaked after you learned that his mother has quite a big fortune. It sounds to me like you're accusing me of something. Yeah, I am. I'm accusing you of being a greedy gold digger. What? I am no such thing. How could you be so horrible to call your own sister that? I'm horrible? You're the one who's stolen my husband, and you don't even like him. Yeah, so what? What does it matter if I like him or not? At the end of the day, all I want is someone who'll be able to provide me with the lifestyle that I've always dreamed of. Living in luxury and not having to work or even lift a finger if I don't want to. Why should you get that instead of me? I mean, I'm way prettier than you and deserve a better lifestyle. You're used to working, so it shouldn't make much of a difference to you. I, on the other hand, would be wasted working a menial job. At least with the money that Damien's mom inheritance will provide, I'll be able to focus on doing whatever I want. Maybe I'll become a model. You do realize that his mother is still alive, don't you? You won't get anything until she's passed on. And I doubt that she'd give you anything anyway. She's always disliked spoiled and greedy people. She even made sure that Damien knew he wouldn't be able to sit back and do nothing with his life. She purposely made him get a job and teach him the value of money. It doesn't matter because he'll get the money in the end. I mean, his mom is what, 70? She'll be dead soon enough and I'll be able to live the life I've always wanted. Sheila is only in her 50s, so you've got a long time to wait until her passing. What? She's only that old? That's right. Anyway... I'm not entirely sure that you haven't cooked up this scheme in your head. I doubt Damien actually knows anything about all of this. It wouldn't be the first time you've tried to do something crazy like this simply because you're jealous of me. As if I'd ever be jealous of you. Ask him yourself if you really don't believe me. Fine, I will. Damien, we really need to talk. Like, right now. Oh, uh, hey, Lily. What did you want to talk about? What's this about you leaving me for my sister? 
Oh, so she told you about that? What do you mean she told me about that? So it's actually true? You want to divorce me for my sister? Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to fall in love with your sister. It just kind of happened. What? How did it just kind of happen? It all started at the barbecue a few months ago. You were busy all evening, talking to everyone else and basically ignoring me. Faith saw that and she spent the whole evening talking to me and getting to know me. I guess that's when I really started to develop feelings for her. Hang on, let me get this straight. You decided to cheat on me with my little sister simply because I was talking to my family and spending some time with them at a barbecue? Well, when you put it like that, it does make me sound kind of horrible. But you were ignoring me. What else was I supposed to do? Faith was really kind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe come and join in and talk with me and my family? Maybe not go and cheat on me with my little sis? Any of those sound like good options? I'm really sorry, Lily, but I'm afraid it's too late. I want to be with Faith now. We've already planned our life together, so I really need you to sign the divorce papers for me. We can just make this simple and easy and go on with our lives, okay? Get on with our lives? You know what? Fine. I'll sign the papers for you. I can't imagine why I'd want to remain married to such a horrible person anyway. You and Faith deserve each other. I mean, you do know she only wants to be with you for your mom's money, right? The money you'll inherit, that's all she's interested in. What? That's not true. She loves me. You're just trying to hurt me because you're jealous. Wow, she's really got you wrapped around her finger, hasn't she? Whatever. I'll send you the divorce papers. Please sign them as soon as possible. Faith and I want a summer wedding, so we need everything to be legal by then. Fine. I wouldn't want to disrupt your wedding plans now, would I? Thank you. So, did you ask him? Go away, Faith. Uh-huh. See, I told you that he wanted this as well. So what if I only want him for the money? As long as he thinks I love him, then... It doesn't matter. Of course, when he has the inheritance, I'll divorce him and take as much as I can. I wouldn't want to be stuck with such a boring person for the rest of my life. You really are a despicable person. You know that? To ruin my marriage, to take the person I love, simply because you want his money and you're jealous of me is what a person with absolutely no morals or empathy would do. You're no sister to me. Not anymore. Whatever. Why would I need you when I've got my life sorted? With the amount of money I'll be getting, I'll be able to buy as many friends or sisters as I want. And they'll be much better than you. With an attitude like yours, I'll be surprised if anyone can be bothered to put up with you, even if they are being paid to do so. Lily, honey, I'm so sorry I've only just messaged. I've been away for the week, so I have only just heard what my idiotic son has done. I can't believe he would act in such a way. I'm ashamed to call him my son. Sheila, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's his and my sister's. I just can't believe two of the closest people who I loved have betrayed me in such a horrible way. I know. I'm so sorry. I honestly don't know why he has done such a thing. You were the best daughter-in-law I could have ever asked for. Damien has lost such a wonderful woman. And for what? Just because he thinks he's in love with someone else? The worst thing about all of this is that Faith doesn't even love Damien like I did. What do you mean? Why else would she be with him if she doesn't love him? She's only with him so she can take his inheritance when you pass on. Her big plan is to wait until you've given Damien all of your money, and then she'll divorce him and take as much as she can. Oh, is that right? Well, I think we need to do something about that to show those two just who they're trying to mess with. What do you mean, Sheila? Just you wait, Lily. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what I have in mind.
Hello, my sweet. How are you? Ah, uh, hello, Damien. I'm fine. That's good to hear. There's, um, something I need to tell you. Can't this wait until later? I'm busy at the moment. It's just, this has to do with my mom's will. Oh, what is it then? Is she giving us the money early? I mean, we did ask her if we could have some of it as a wedding present, so maybe she's decided to give us our inheritance now all in one go. It would certainly make things easier. Um, not quite. Well, then what is it? Hurry up and tell me, I've got things to do. Well, she asked me to come with her to see her solicitor the other day so that she could rewrite her will. So, as to include me, right? No. She's changed it so we don't get a single penny. What? What do you mean we don't get any of her money? But that's your inheritance. If you're not getting it, then who is? Where is it all going? That's the thing. She's made it so that when she dies, all of her money and assets go to Lily. Lily? But you divorced her. I'm her daughter-in-law now. That money should go to me. Lily has nothing to do with her anymore. She can't do that. I'm afraid that she can, as it is her money. She said that she'll never accept you as her daughter-in-law and that you're never allowed over to her home or to have anything to do with her. She's given everything to Lily as she sees her as her only true daughter-in-law. Apparently, my mom thinks that me cheating on Lily and you going behind your sister's back makes us both horrible people, and she doesn't want to reward our behavior. I can't believe this. But it's okay. We don't need her money. We'll be just fine as long as we have each other. All we need is our love to get us by. Ugh, I need to talk to Lily. Lily, answer your phone right now. This is urgent. Oh, what do you want, Faith? How dare you trick Damien's mom into giving you all of her money? Oh, I see you found out about what Sheila's done then. And for your information, I didn't trick her into doing anything. Being the kind woman that she is, Sheila felt awful for what you and Damien had done to me. And after finding out that you only did it for her money, she made sure that you'd never see a penny of it. But she can't do that. I'm her daughter-in-law now. You better make her change that will. She can do whatever she wants. It's her money. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, you've married Damien for nothing, it seems. And I doubt he'll easily give you a divorce. Not with how in love with you he is, apparently. What? Yeah, good luck with that. You've really dug yourself a hole there. You've got to help me. I'm your little sister, so it's up to you to help me out. Actually, I don't have to do anything. Especially since I don't consider you my sister anymore. Are you still saying that? Get over it. I'm your sister no matter what. So help me out of the situation. Tell Damien to give me a divorce. You can have him back. I need to go and find another rich man to marry, so I need to be single and legally able to marry them. I can't do that if Damien is refusing to give me a divorce. That sounds like a you problem. Besides, I don't want him back, especially after what he did to me. I'm afraid you're stuck with him. Please, Lily, I'm sorry. It's too little too late. Don't contact me again, Faith. I don't want anything to do with you. Hang on. Are you serious? You can't just cut me off like that. You did that the moment you went after my husband. Goodbye, Faith. After that conversation, I deleted and blocked Faith on all social media apps that I had. I never contacted her again after that. I felt that if she truly was my sister, she would never have hurt me in such an unforgivable way. Sometimes you need to cut the toxic people out of your life, even if they are related to you. The last I heard, she was still trying to get a divorce from Damien. However, he was refusing to give her one as he still loved her. The poor idiot. <laughs>